What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode. Today, a video I've been promising for a long time and I'm finally doing it. It is a video on action tiles. Action tiles is a control panel where you can control all of your smart home tech and scenes right from one control center. You can also have different screens for every room. Using a smart home hub, we've integrated our Z-Wave smart blinds, Echo B thermostat, wired alarm system, Philips Hue and Lutron lights, and Sonos Music all in one place on one control panel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to customize it, how to sync all of your technology, and create a panel to your liking. And what's so great is that I can program it on the computer on the Action Tiles website, and as I'm doing it, I'll see all of my changes right on the iPad. And as soon as I change something, changes right on the screen, so it's really easy to see. I recently came out with a review on the Echo Show 10, which is a really cool Amazon device that does a lot of really cool things, and it's a great thing to have in the main area of your home, but it's missing that one key feature, the Smart Home Command Center, and Action Tiles fits that spot really well. Action Tiles has a 14-day trial if you want to try it out, and it only costs $28.99 per license, which means per home. And with my code JustinTech and some numbers, you'll get 10% off your purchase. All right, let's get into it. In order to use Action Tiles, you'll need a smart home hub to connect to and you have two options, either by SmartThings using the SmartThings hub or the new Aotic hub, which is basically replacing that and just came out, or you need a Hubitat hub. With one of those, you'll be able to sync all of your devices to the Action Tiles platform and start creating. This is the main homepage of Action Tiles. As you can see, right here are all the panels that I've created for Toby Smart Home in Palm Springs. So if we go over to Smart Home Fire, this is the one that we made for a Fire tablet. Um, and then here's the one that we made for an iPad, which works really well on this iPad over here. And then for the office, we have another panel. So let's make a new one. All I've got to do is click plus, and we're gonna make one called Action Tiles Video, because that's what this is. So we'll add it, and here's the panel. It's got nothing. Before we start filling that in, why don't I give you a little tour of Action Tiles. So like I said, these are all the panels. My Media, this is where you can create like weather cards or calendar cards. We've got My Themes. My Themes are all the different themes that you create, the looks for each panel. So here's one example is, you know, you can see the way the tiles look, the different types of tiles and the background. You can choose from a, different, a bunch of different backgrounds and you can even change the font color and um, when what the color is when things are activated. I'll get into that in a little bit. My location, so we've got one location. It's one location per license. Then we've got panel sharing. This is where you can actually email people a panel that they can also use. That's really handy. App settings, um, this is if you want the tiles to update every certain amount of time. And then Icon Library. On the Icon Library, you can see all of the icons available to use on your Action Tiles panel. And there are a lot of them. Um, so many. A lot of them that I'm not even sure why you'd use them. But look, there's a Halloween button. We got a hamburger button. There's also some really good light buttons. Uh, what I like to do, when, especially when I'm researching which ones I want to use, I'll do Command F and I'll be like, light. Let's see if I want like light bulb. And it shows me all the different light bulbs I can use. Um, so Command F is your friend here. We'll get to icons in just a bit. Um, and I guess that's pretty much it. Actually, that's all I wanted to show you. So now let's get to syncing our devices. It's really simple. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to my locations click on your location, and then you're gonna to go to add devices. From here, it will ask you to log into your SmartThings account or your Hubitat account. In this case, it's SmartThings, and I've, I'm already logged in. I'm gonna to go to our Star Home, 
and right here are all of the smart home devices Toby owns. So I would go in and just check everything off. Even doubles, I like to just cross my bases or check off my squares, I don't know. Um, I like to check off all the boxes and make sure that everything is in, in sync. Um, I'm gonna leave it like this for now, but check those all off and then they will sync. Once everything's synced, you'll be able to access them on the website. So now let's go to the uh, Action Tiles video panel. Nothing there. So if you click on it, it actually shows you the panel. But if I go to this edit button on the side, there's the panel and on this, this click, this plus button in the bottom corner, I'll click that and let me start with a tile set. So a tile set is the um, section of the screen. Um, so you can do like different sections, right? You can do your scenes, you could do your lights, you can do your music. So let's start with lights. So I'm gonna create that, there's lights. So now I'm going to create a tile. So I'll go to my smart home and I'm gonna go to Let's go, let's do, let's make a kitchen, a kitchen area. So we've got the kitchen switch, kitchen switch. We're gonna do kitchen lights, uh, kitchen sink is a light, kitchen window. And I think that is everything. Great, so I'm gonna add those. Now we've got a bunch of lights Oh, I don't want this. This kitchen window is a, is a contact sensor that is for an alarm. I don't want that with my light, so I'm gonna delete that. Now, real quick, I'm gonna open up my iPad, and when I go, when I tap on Action Tiles video, there you go. You can see that all of my lights are on the screen. I'm gonna go full screen. They have an, uh, green tiles right now. I can change that, and I don't really like these icons, so I'm going to change these icons. So that is really easy. I'm just going to go, let's go to kitchen accent, click that dot, 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 go to tile settings, and this is where I can change that at the, um, the icon. And I can change the icon for when the light is on and when the light's off. So let's go to light on, click the edit button. Here are a bunch of the lights, uh, a bunch of the icons. So for light on, I'm gonna do this light bulb. And if I wanted to, I could uh, type in the keyword for um, the icon I wanna use. The best way to do it is to go to that icon library, find the icons you want, and then copy those names and put them right there. That will help you find it way easier. Anyway, this is the one I like, so I'm gonna select this, click done. There you go, when it's on, it's gonna have that, and when it's off, it's going to have, I want it to be, um, I want it to be dark and have no lines around it, so there it is. Just light bulb, done, bada bing, bada boom. And so, uh, well, let me save that. So now you can see, instantly changes on my iPad. You can see that icon, the light is on right now. When I open up the dot, 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 I can edit a few different settings. So one of them is the tile intention. There's info, normal, accent, and worn. So these are the different types of tiles you're going to have on your system and depending on which tile it is, will also declare what the look is because when you create a theme, you're creating colors for each type of tile. So for a worn tile, that would be a, a tile that you know your front door is open and it will turn red when the door's open. In this case, I'm using it as an accent tile. So keep it as accent. Do I want an animation? So there's a bunch of different animations that will create a movement to the icon. So just to show you, let's put breathe um, on. So now you can see on my iPad, the icon is, it's breathing. Um, personally, I'm not a huge fan of the movement pieces. Um, I think that they work pretty well with no movement. So that's just me. And you can also add an effect. So you can add a glow or a fade. I actually, I do like the glow. You'll see that's how it looks. So let me save that. You'll see it on the iPad. Bada bing, bada boom. So that is creating an accent. Um, that is creating an icon and some of the movements you can do. Now, back to the themes. These are all of the themes that I've created. Um, this is an info tile, this is a normal tile, this is an accent tile, and a worn tile. So, um, you can, and you can also choose a background as well. Um, 
and to apply a theme to a panel is really easy. So we're gonna go back to this action tiles video, edit, and then go to um, the dot, dot, dot in the top right, and we're gonna do panel settings, and there, this is where you're gonna ch to choose the theme, right? So for this one, I'm gonna choose um, star kitchen theme, because that's the one I really like. There's also a list of themes that Action Tiles has created on their own that maybe could be a good starting point for you. Um, uh, but I'm gonna go with Star Kitchen theme. So now when we go back to my panels and we go to this one, there you go. You see that nice coloring, there's that glow on the ac kitchen accent. Another thing you can do with these icons is make them bigger. And that's why it's really nice to have the iPad out. That way I can see it as the changes as I'm doing it. So if I go to tile settings, here's the width and the height. So I can make it two by two. And then if I save that, you'll see it will get bigger on the screen on the iPad. Um, two by two is a little bit big. I prefer two by one. So the height will be by one, so that, there you go, you have it like that. I'm gonna go through and make all of these two by one. And there you go. Now it looks really good on the iPad screen, and uh, I still have a lot of room to work with. So now that we have a bunch of lights, let's make another tile set uh, that's for security. And for security, we're using the SmartThings um, system. And for this, I'm gonna to go to Star Home and let's go to Sensors. So I'm gonna do Command F again. That's my friend for just helping me find things. For security sensors, we're using a system called Connected, which works with wired alarm systems and is controlled through the SmartThings app. I explain this in more detail in episode two of the Ultimate Smart Home series, which I'll link below. Now we've got all the sensors for security and these are going to be warning uh, tiles. So let me go to warn and assign each one a warn. So you'll see the color will change on those. Let me go to warn for all of them. Now I'm unable to show you because I'm not there, but what will happen is when these open up, they will become a different color. And I think in this case, they'll become red because you know, it, that's the warning color we decided to use. So those are all warnings. And now I've got all of my contact sensors and I'll probably make them two by one as well. I'm not gonna go through and do all of that now because I don't wanna waste your time. Now let me show you how themes work. When you go to my themes, let's create a theme. I'm gonna go to plus, I'm gonna create a brand new theme. Let's call it action tiles video also. So I know to, we're gonna delete it when I'm done. Click add, and now here, got a clean slate. So first thing is my background color. I can go click this little drop button and choose exactly what background I want. If I want the blue button and the blue background. And um, also while I'm at it, I'm gonna go to the panel. Um, that way you can see it happen in real time. So let me go here to the top corner. I'm gonna to go to um, panel settings, then go to action tiles video and see on the iPad it changed. Let's go back to my themes, action tiles video, and let's make this look nicer. Um, so we've got, let's make this background a little bit darker. Then let's make the tile header color. Uh, I like the white. Let's make the um, info tiles, let's make those black. Let's make the uh, tile color for normal black. Then there you go, you'll see those change. The warning tiles, let's have those be purple and that will turn purple when they start warning. There you go, the kitchen door just opened. Toby must be home because his kitchen door was open and then closed. <laughs> Um, he has no idea I'm doing this. And then um, let's make the normal tiles, let's not make them black. Let's make them, yep, kitchen doors open again. Make them red or light blue. 
So obviously this isn't what I'd want at all, but I'm just trying to show you how it works. You can also change the font color. So specifically for the normal tiles, let's make the, the font color, the header color black. I'd probably make it all black to the content color black as well. And as you can see, it's changing on there. Make the footer color. So there is a lot of customization that you can do here. And um, I'm sure you'll make it a lot prettier than this. And like I said, you know, we've made them pretty, pretty. Um, when you look at things like the star home, I like those colors a lot. You can see how the kitchen windows open right now. So it's red. Um, it's easy to spot. And then here we have all of our scenes and here we have all of our Sono speakers. Um, let's talk about scenes though, because scenes aren't as straightforward as I'd like them to be. But um, once you understand how to do it, it's not so bad. All of the instructions are listed out on the Action Tiles website, which I'll link below. First, log into your SmartThings or Samsung account. Next, you'll need to generate an API token. Call it Action Tiles PAT and check off See All Scenes and Control This Scene. Next, copy your token and make sure to put it somewhere safe because you will never see it again. Then go to My Locations on Action Tiles, go to Scenes, and enter your access token. Once added, all of your scenes will appear and you can use them on your panels. So let's go back to My Panels, that Action Tiles panel. We'll add a hub tile. And then when we click Star Home, all of our scenes appear right on top. We can add them all in and then next click on the tile and there you go. All of them are right on the panel. There you guys have it. That is a little intro into action tiles. I hope that helped you guys out and I hope you guys go and build your own. There's so much you can do and I'm really excited for you to dive in. Let me know if you have any questions about the system or how to do certain things in the comments. I'm happy to help you out. And I've got videos coming out every Thursday, smart home tech reviews. So you gotta be there. Make sure you subscribe, click that bell for alerts. And if you enjoyed this video or learned something new, give me a like. I'm Justin, and I'll take you later.